Welcome back everyone to another Stretching with Timber. Today we are going to be focusing on mobility and making sure that throughout your aging process, no matter what age you're starting at, but throughout your aging process, you are keeping balance, flexibility, and mobility. We're gonna work on some simple movements that we do throughout our day that we wouldn't think are hard, especially if we're younger. But if we are in the older range, it is getting more difficult. Things aren't as lubricated in the joints. There may be arthritis, there may be pain, whatever the issue may be, that these are gonna help keep you moving and keep you functioning into a great old age. We are meant to live to an old, old age, especially with today's um, technology. I've, would say Eastern medicine mixed with some Western medicine when needed. There's just so much to offer these days and we have so much knowledge at our fingertips and our phones. Um, so we're gonna get started. The first one is going to be hip mobility. And you are going to start with your legs like this. Up. To the other side to the other side I am sitting sorry guys I skipped that part I'm sitting on a cushion from the couch covered with a blanket so that you're not right on the floor so from this side to this side let's do this a few times don't lift your feet up keep your feet on the ground if you slide off your cushion, that's fine. You can put your hands down on the ground to give yourself a base. But let's keep that mobility in the hips by moving side, my walls in the way, side and side. So next, go ahead and get up. Kneel on your cushion, hold yourself up, but kneel. If you need something to hold on to, that's why I'm near the wall, you can use it, but try and see how it feels without it. So, right foot forward, up, down. more times. Up and down. Okay, go ahead and take a rest if you need. Next, you are going to need a chair. Let me go grab my chair. sit on that you feel like is sturdy because you are going to be seating, seated, standing, seated, standing, seated, standing, seated, Standing a few more times. Seated. And standing. So now we are going to work. I'm going to push this back. We are going to work on a couple of balance things before we end the video. <clears throat> so, with balance, we are going. You can start here. You can do your hands here for center of gravity. Here, 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 here. 
start here at the wall or whatever next to you that you need. Start here, go a little bit higher, and hold. Think about calming the foot that you're standing on, calming those muscles so that they're still a little bit higher if you can. If you can't, stay where you're able. And relax this side. Now let's do it on the other side. At the ground, hold this. Mentally send messages to those feet, tell them to calm. Lift the leg up a little bit further. Go a little bit further. If you need that help, take it, don't fall. And relax. Let's stretch the back of that hamstring out real quick since we kind of used it today doing these different movements. Put that heel up, toes towards the ceiling. And stretch the back of the leg. Okay guys, that was just a quick, simple video on three or four different moves you can do to keep mobility in the hips and the knees and the legs and the joints. And a good yoga move to practice that flexibility and that balance. So, as always, thank y'all for joining me. I try and keep most of my videos under 20 minutes because I want them to be quick and easy for you to do. As always, like and subscribe. That helps me, but it also helps you know when I post more content. And thank you as always for watching Stretching with Timber.